after the original overture from Funny Girl and her breezy rendition of Starting Here, Starting Now, she greets the adoring throng warmly, reminding them that this 20 concert U.S. tour is a fundraiser for her liberal causes. Then she gets riffed up with a jazzy take of Harold Arlen's Down With Love, quote, Down With Love, with flowers and rice and shoes, Down With Love. I became a Barbara Streisand fan after her Oscar-winning performance, her singing her heart out, as stage comedian Fanny Bryce and Funny Girl knocked my socks off. However, I was into Elvis, Bob Dylan, and the Beatles, and although we shared similar left-wing views on women's rights, gay rights, and environmentalism, and I was impressed that she was one of the celebs on Nixon's enemy list, I soon lost interest in her movies and music because one, the only other Hollywood musical I liked were Gentlemen Prefer Blondes with Marilyn Monroe and Gypsy with Natalie Wood. And Streisand, a gawky 26-year-old effervescent Broadway baby that Judy Garland had called one of the last of the great belters, looked to me more like Ringo Starr than any of those regal leading ladies of, from the Mod Olympus of movie stars. And two, as a cabaret singer, she was out of her element in rock and roll. And three, Elvis lost his coveted co-starring role in A Star is Born to Chris Christopherson, and I blamed Barbara Streisand for not making enough concessions to Colonel Tom Parker. So with my head buried in a pile of Elvis LPs, the irrepressible Barbara became a superstar. To ticket holders and fans who dug her since she started as a nightclub singer in gay bars like The Lion and Bone Soir and Greenwich Village, this number seven on Billboard's 200 pop double CD Streisand Live in Concert 2006, accompanied instrumentally by a full orchestra and recorded in New York, Washington, D.C. and Fort Lauderdale, was like Sinatra at Madison Square Garden and Tony Bennett at Caesars Palace. I haven't experienced this much fan frenzy since I saw Elvis at the Cow Palace in San Francisco in 1970. Of course, she's no female Elvis, and even though her vocal range has changed and her voice deepened from glass-shattering soprano to mezzo-soprano or contralto, the 64-year-old pop icon still puts on a sensational show from A Star is Born, Evergreen, another song she co-wrote and the first of three performed tonight with El Devo, a multinational operatic male pop quartet formed in England by American idol Simon Cowell. Then after a spirited version of Arlen and Johnny Mercer's Come Rain or Come Shine, Streisand turns on her mature diva magic with sophisticated yet sassy renditions of the best in her repertoire. Four funny girl favorites in a row, including the title tune, The Music That Makes Me Dance from the Broadway production, People, her signature tune that sends the fans hoarse from shouting kudos to intermission which was preceded by the real showstopper of the evening, my man. Quote, if I say I will, will go away, when I know I'll come back on my knees someday. Oh, whatever my man is, I am his forevermore. Unquote. The last elongated note alone held magnificently, unwaveringly, with just a hint of vibrato due to her trembling passion, choked me up. Then with waves of love rolling over her, a glowing Queen Barbara to her court sheepishly exclaims, I'm spoken for, I'm sorry, maybe in the next life, who knows. Disc two of this two disc CD is not anticlimactic, except for Funny Girl Reprise, Don't Rain on My Parade, her first of two encores, along with Charlie Chaplin's Smile, that closed the show. The rest of the musical bill affair are Streisand covers including pop ballads, Unusual Way, What Are You Doing, The Rest of Your Life, and Have I Stayed Too Long at the Fair, from her 66 TV show, Color Me Barbara, and show tunes, Cockeyed Optimus and Carefully Taught, coupled appropriately with Santa Sondheim's Children Will Listen, from Rodgers and Hammerstein's South Pacific, and two more El Divo duets, Music of the Night from Andrew Lloyd Webber's Phantom of the Opera and Somewhere from West Side Story. Two highlights of the second half of the concert show come near the end when Streisand's humanitarian side shines through on upbeat Happy Days Are Here Again, FDR's successful 32 presidential campaign, Jingle that she announces she'll sing in the next Democratic Party victory, and after swan song, My Shining Hour, following her first good night, as she gushing with appreciation, 
says that the show has been two shiny hours for her and wishes everybody in the audience many shiny moments of their own in the days ahead. In conclusion, whatever it was, Simon Cow might call it the X Factor, that garnered Streisand's 1,350 performances on Broadway in Funny Girl and won two Grammy Awards for her first LP, the Barbara Streisand album in 63. She still got it, although I'd pref have preferred, for example, Neil Diamond and Barbara singing You Don't Bring Me Flowers to her duets with Il Devo. Nevertheless, I rate this CD from one to five, with five stars being best for supernovas still burning bright.